Hi, welcome for our online trainings and placements. We are from RTL Technologies. We are based out in Hyderabad, providing the RT Cloud training and placements, and fusion, human capital management, financials, supply chain management, and as well as technical and integration. I'm here to talk up the first demo session here. We are going to have three demo sessions today, tomorrow, and Monday. From Tuesday onwards, regular sessions are going to be started. Today, tomorrow, and Monday. From Tuesday onwards, we are going to have the regular sessions. Regular sessions timing will be 6.30 a.m. IST. 6.30 a.m. IST. It's going to be one hour, 6.30 to 7.30 every day, Monday to Friday. Saturday, sometimes we will have any interview questions or doubts. It's going to be an additional class. If somebody is having some interaction, then we may, but not confirmed. But Monday to Friday, it's confirmed. And it's going to be a complete two months course, Oracle Fusion Cloud HCM applications. So we treat that everybody is a fresher to our uh, cloud technology, as well as for human capital management. And we are going from zero to expert level, from basic to expert level. If you do not have any prerequisition technologies, you do not have any idea about the ERP or cloud, no problem. We'll pick the candidate from right from the very basic level. Okay. So please subscribe for our channel, which is there in YouTube, RTL Online Trainings. You can search and go for subscribe. And whatever the demo we are going to discuss, as well as some real-time interview questions and other things, you will find out uh, not only Oracle Cloud, we will find Oracle SQL, PLS SQL, videos, interview questions. This is all you are going to find out. Okay. So let's enter into the demo of our uh, Fusion Applications HCM today. So before we start, I'll just give an introduction about RTL Technologies. This is Chandra. I'm from RTL Technologies. This RTL Technologies established in 2005 in Hyderabad and Amir Pate as well as in ESA Hospital opposite Bhano Towers. And we have trained more than 10,000 students exclusively in Oracle applications as well as in uh, cloud technologies. And we have 9,000 subscribers in Oracle Cloud exclusively in YouTube channel. Like we are exclusively on Oracle Cloud content. More than 9,000 subscribers we have got it. And we have placed more than 3,000 students across the India in cloud technologies as well as in Oracle EBS ERP products here. Okay, so this is our strength in our uh, cloud uh, last seven years and in EBS last uh, 17 years, okay. So today we are going to talk about what is cloud, what is what are different cloud companies we have, what are different cloud companies we have, and what is Oracle Cloud, what are different products we have in Oracle Cloud, what is Fusion Applications ERP software, what are different offerings we have in, in this ERP, and what is Fusion Applications human capital management, in human capital management, what are different modules we have? And then we are going to talk about uh, what are different types of jobs we are going to have? And then what, what codes we are going to learn? So this is going to be in the first half of... So that we will be using, okay? So first we'll talk about what is cloud. So cloud is uh, nothing but a uh, virtual server. Cloud is nothing but a virtual server where the audio files, video files will be stored. In fact, the business data also will be stored in a proper format. Okay. So cloud means a virtual server. We will try to save our audio or video or business data for streaming or for accessing the information through business applications. For example, we are using everyday Gmail. So where these mails are stored, is it stored in our mobile or is it stored on our desktop or is it stored on our uh, laptop? No, it is stored in Google servers. Where these servers are located, 
we do not have idea it's somewhere in uh, us or uk or europe or other countries they they have established the servers in data centers right so cloud is nothing but a virtual servers where our information will be stored it may be audio files or video files. that's what we call it as uh, cloud so we have different cloud companies so what are different cloud companies we have so we have amazon web services we have and we have google cloud we have salesforce cloud microsoft azure oracle cloud like different cloud companies are there what these cloud companies will do they provide cloud services to the customers they provide cloud services to customers if the customer wants to store some information or some files then either they have to buy the server or they have to use the cloud two options for the client the client can go for install the software in their server and maintain that information or they can take it as a lease from the cloud companies these are the cloud companies who are providing the servers who are providing the servers for the lease based you can pay the amount as like a rent a rental you can go for use the servers okay so this all companies has established this servers across the world for example if we take oracle oracle has established data centers in those data centers we will find the servers there we can save our information how we can connect to those data centers through internet only how we are connecting to youtube where this youtube videos are stored where our gmail ids are uh, gmail uh, information is stored where our google drive information is stored how we are connecting to this through url only right we are going to give the url and enter the credentials based on that we are able to access right so the same way we are going to have for the cloud also so this cloud information you can access through the url and providing some credentials so we have discussed uh, different cloud companies are there these are very top level cloud companies like uh, aws microsoft azure oracle salesforce google cloud workday like this we have number of cloud companies who will provide the cloud services to the customers across the world okay so what cloud company says instead of maintaining your own servers why don't you move all your software into the clouds we will take care of it 24 by 7 will take care of your server applications and we were we are ready to provide the latest applications to you so you can be you can easily use those applications and analyze your business okay so these are cloud companies the seniority wise when we talk about the cloud companies first is amazon web services aws is the first one second we got azure third we got oracle corporation then after that we have of course google cloud salesforce and all but now oracle is trying to compete it with the aws trying to compete it because oracle has got a, strong tools as well as the business applications here okay so now we are going to talk about oracle cloud so what is oracle cloud nothing but oracle servers so if any client says that it's very difficult to maintain all this servers uh, information all this servers it's it's expensive and it's not easy to maintain those uh, servers the security point of view i wanted to use the latest tools and applications from the cloud environment i would like to go for decrease my cost expense that whenever they wanted to go for cost deduction they can choose the cloud environment okay so nowadays for the clients two options are there one they can go with their own servers or they can go with the cloud use that servers as a rental basis okay so now earlier the clients used to have the on premises on premises means every client is the used to buy the server and after buying the server they used to install the software 24 by 7 they they used to have their dbs team and admin team should take care of it but now cloud has changed the complete uh, operations process okay so what cloud companies are telling is we will take care of all these operations you don't need to worry about it you can choose our servers for storing your software as well as the business applications 
In the same way, Oracle also has entered into the cloud market in 2015. Earlier also is there, but mainly 2015 and 2016. Okay. So Oracle Cloud is a subscription-based public cloud services offering from database company called Oracle Corporation. So Oracle Corporation has designed Oracle Corporation. Basically, it's a database company, right? So Oracle database is the number one across the world, security-wise, from last uh, three to four decades. Okay, so uh, from last three to four decades, this Oracle Corporation has developed this database and providing the services to the customers. Okay, Oracle has established data centers. Oracle has established the data centers across the world, across the world, by using the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, by using Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So Oracle is providing the OCA. OCA stands for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, indirectly servers, indirectly servers. It will provide the servers. It's indirectly, it's a database. So why, why these servers are required for us? You can store your data, you can maintain network applications, and you can manage your huge data. If I have some millions of records, I wanted to process that information, and I would like to go for manage the data, and I would like to process and validate. Finally, I just wanted to know the uh, organization analysis. Then we will go with this particular cloud options. We'll go with the particular cloud options. Here it is. Okay. So Oracle has started establishing the data centers across the world. Almost 38, I think. In India, we have two data centers. One is in Hyderabad, another one is in Mumbai. So clients who are uh, in India, who are running the business, uh, they can choose this uh, India data centers. For example, ICICI Bank is there. They use Oracle Fusion to maintain their 25,000 employees information. We have Vodafone, they use human capital management. We have Act Fibernet, they have 8,500 employees. They use uh, Fusion Cloud ERP to maintain their uh, 8,500 employees information. Like this, uh, the, the clients who are there in the country, Oracle is ready to establish the data center over there. So client no need to worry about the security point of view regarding the business data. So they can use those data centers and they can build the applications. They can deploy the applications. They can automate and manage the workloads. Workload is nothing but an information exchange, exchanging the information. So the clients can go for easily maintain multiple applications and they can go for maintain all this data over here it is. Okay. So Oracle has got different products. Oracle has got different products here. If we look at uh, Oracle database, we have forms, we have form builder to build the forms. Apex also is there to build the forms. Uh, reporting, BI report, Oracle Analytics Cloud, OBIE, NetSuite, EBS, Vision Applications, Visual Builder Cloud Service is one of the tool which is available to build the forms in cloud. D database, DBCS, Database Cloud Service, JCS, Java Cloud Service, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, like this. So whenever uh, the whenever you ask any client, oh, why don't you use the cloud? The first question client will ask, you have the cloud. It means you have the servers. That's fine. But what products are available? What products are available in your cloud? So I'm ready to buy those products. And what are the... Uh, licensed products are there? What are the free products are there? What is the limit? How about the charges? Are you ready to go for provide any, uh, you know, uh, you, as per uses pay process? Nothing but whenever you are going to use the server, that time only you are going to make the payment for only for uses, only for uses, not for other. Things. Okay. So uh, this is how the cloud companies are trying to attract by providing number of products from their cloud servers, from their cloud servers. Now we are talking about uh, different products here. Out of that, one of the important ERP cloud nowadays, which is famous is Oracle Fission Applications. This is what we are going to discuss right now. So what is Fission Application? There are a number of products in Oracle Cloud. 
okay it's up to the client which product they wanted to do first they have to subscribe to the oracle cloud once any client subscribe for the cloud then what oracle says the following uh, products and tools are available in my cloud then you can go for subscribe for any tool or any product and start using the products and start building the applications by using these tools that's what oracle says okay so entire server maintenance everything will be taken care by the oracle company oracle company will take care of this entire process okay so now we are going to talk about what is fission applications what is fission applications so fission applications is one of the cloud based erp product it is one of the cloud based erp product first we'll discuss what is erp then we'll come back to what is cloud erp erp stands for enterprise resource planning enterprise resource planning this is one of the application or software or product we call it as it is one of the product or application or software so enterprises who are doing some business whenever the enterprises are doing some business day to day business transactions nothing but their financials data accounting information their employees information human capital management their supply chain management nothing but procurement sales inventory data and crm their call centers information pay project portfolio management if your client is doing some projects maybe it is related for the infrastructure or construction projects or site development or manufacturing or any any type of projects if they are going to do it to maintain that projects information like project costing billing and other information ppm will be used orc oracle recruitment cloud entire recruitment process you can execute through this particular application it will be completely automated orc application most of the clients nowadays started implementing the orc also like this there are number of offerings available in the erp software so if any client says that i want to maintain my business transactions in a single software they have to use the erp software they have to use the erp software we call it as enterprise resource planning okay so so far uh, how the clients are implementing the erp how they used to maintain this erp software is generally clients goes to the erp based companies and they buy the erp software and install in their servers they recruit the dbas they recruit the functional consultants technical consultants and they start doing the implementation and start doing the customization support and other things okay so that's the basically the procedure we call it as a on premises implementation which is happening from 1995 so erps are there right from 1995 like sap is there salesforce is there oracle ebs is there people soft was there jd edwards was there and uh, cbel was there bond it was there these are old erps now latest in the market is sap is there oracle cloud fusion applications and the salesforce oracle ebs workday like this but mainly sap and oracle when i say erp sap and oracle then the third place it comes to the salesforce okay so what is fusion applications it's a cloud based erp just now we discussed erp is nothing but enterprise resource planning it is one of the application which is used to maintain the business data financials or hr or supply or sales data it will be used to maintain earlier it was on premises server now we are using the cloud based er now we are using the cloud based erp software here okay so what is cloud cloud means a virtual machine as i said instead of using your server you are trying to use the oracle servers so fusion applications you cannot buy the software and use it in your uh, local machine you must use the oracle servers in oracle servers only this fusion applications software is installed you can directly navigate to that and start using like this like this you have to enter the url for every client what oracle will do is they provide this url once you subscribe for their fusion applications with the licensed then they will give the credentials here you have to enter the username and password like this and uh, that is number of license for example icici bank is there so client says that i have total 25000 employees 
I need the access for 2000 employees. It means uh, what is the login subscription? 2000. So 2000 employees can use this application through internet. So just they need internet. They don't need to install any software, any other thing. Just enter the URL, enter the credentials, login and start working with the uh, business day-to-day -day transactions, whatever they want. Insert, update, delete, search, analyze, print out, email, fax and storage, notifications, workflows, approvals, all day-to-day -day transactions they can perform here in this application. It's going to be a just plug and play type. Okay. So now we are clear what is Fusion Applications. It is one of the cloud-based ERP, which is uh, developed by RT Corporation company and released into the market. Any client can use this ERP software and maintain their complete uh, enterprise information in this cloud ERP applications here. Okay, so now we are going to talk about what is human capital management. We have seen finance, health, CM supply and all. And we got very high level idea. Finance is basically to maintain accounting information. HCM is used to maintain the human capital, HR data. Supply chain is mainly for procurement and sales and other. CRM, customer relationship management, call center. This is for projects, portfolio, and what's the recruitment cloud. This all. Now we are talking about exclusively HCM, human capital management. So human capital management will be used to maintain the HR data, employees data when the organization wants to manage, then they go for use this application, Fusion Applications HCM. So let's say your client is having some thousands of employees. Your client is having some thousands of employees. They want to maintain their employees data, employee salaries information, because the salary structure is different from one employee to another employee, there will be earnings and deductions, taxes, calculations, loans, eligibility elements, okay, uh, arrears, prorations, retro pay will have different uh, structures, right? That's all and all I wanted to maintain. There, for example, I have some 12,000 employees or 40,000 employees or 1 lakh employees or 2 lakhs employees are there. It's very difficult for me to manage end of the week or end of the month. Some countries every week they pay. Some countries every month they'll pay. So it depends. Okay. So when you want to go for calculate the salaries, you need an information of an employee. What is his job? What is his position? What is his grade? What is the offering salary we done? And based on that, we'll run the payroll and we'll pay the salaries. Any issues are there, we'll go for rectifying. Okay. And obviously, the employee required the leave plans. For every employee, there will be a basic leave plan. There will be vacation plans, sick leaves, maternity leaves, paternity leaves, and there will be agreements between the employees as well as the workers, employees as well as the companies. Okay. So to maintain this option system information, and of course, every company will try to manage the employee performance information, how effectively employee is working. So we can maintain that information in this ERP application. How we can maintain? It's very simple. When employee join in the organization, we'll set some goals to the employees and manager is going to follow up that goals. And as soon as employee complete the goal, he will update in the application. End of the month, we'll see how many goals we have assigned, how many goals he has completed within the time and what is the uh, scoring of that goals, nothing but importance of that goals, how much time he took that goals how about for the next goals? Any certifications they, this employee has completed? Any awards he has received? So like all this information is going to be maintained to manage the performance. And recruitment and onboarding process, employee benefits, employee compensation, time and labor, time sheet. So all this information, whenever we want to manage, then which application we are going to use? Human capital management. So when client says that I have a business and more than 5,000 employees, generally less than 5,000 employees, very few clients. When the clients are having more than 5,000 up to 3 lakhs employees or 4 lakhs employees, Oracle itself will use human capital management. They have more than 1 lakh employees across the world to maintain this information. So they use this uh, human capital. ICSA Bank will use human capital. Vodafone will use and act fiber net will use this vision cloud hcm number of companies have started using in india itself 
across the world there are some thousands of customers who has came to this cloud fusion hcm it is just started fusion hcm is just starting point now so just around 4 5 years back the era has started it will be another 20 years future that's why oracle says this is next generation erp product oracle fusion applications is a next generation erp software they have already some ERPs like uh, they have Oracle EBS, they have NetSuite, they have already acquired PeopleSoft, they acquired Siebel, they acquired JD Edwards, but Oracle is not concentrating that much on those ERPs compared to Fusion Cloud Applications ERP software. Okay, so these are the human capital management modules. Some client says that. I don't want to use all these models. I want to use only my employees' information, data, and I wanted to maintain only my employee salaries. I don't want to maintain all other information. So then we use this different models. Okay. But if you go for any client, global HR is mandated. So without uh, first module, global HR, we cannot implement this vision application set CM. So generally, when we talk about the human capital management, we have mainly three offerings, deployment, development, compensation, management. Deployment, development, compensation, management. We have three offerings. Span business operation process. Span business process. What is span business process? It's a global. It's a global option which we will be using to maintain the fast formulas profile management workforce director management so simply we can say whenever any client wants to go for subscribe for human capital management when the client wants to go for subscribe for human capital management in human capital management we have around 10 models we have around 10 modules. Out of that, it's up to the client what modules they wanted to implement for their business, what modules they want to use to maintain their day to day business transactions. It's up to the client requirement. So it's not that Oracle says you must buy all modules. Okay. So some clients, of, of course, entire suit they'll take up, entire human capital management suit, they'll go ahead with that. Okay, so as I said, human capital management has got mainly three offerings. One is uh, workforce deployment, workforce development, compensation management. There are three offerings mainly. Okay, so deployment is nothing but the organizations. This the deployment is nothing but organization deployment, nothing but organization hierarchy. This all. So we'll find majorly here four modules. One is uh, global HR, another one is payroll, time and labor, options management. Four modules. Of course, we have something called reputation management, workforce management, workforce predictions. This all comes under analytics point of view. So they wanted to predict some future. They wanted to have some talent review. They wanted to uh, analyze their uh, employee skills. Then they'll go for this, but not that much, uh, you know, big modules. So those all are just uh, analyzing and showing some dashboards and all. It's very simple modules. Okay. So mainly uh, deployment means four modules. Global HR, R core HR, or we call it as a GHR also. GHR stands for global HR global human resources this is the first module global hr it's mandatory for every client every project you will find this global hr for example we are applying as four years of experience with consultant in human capital management and we mentioned four projects in our resume obviously in every project we can mention that i involved in global hr implementation testing and support in all these three phases for this three for this model okay then payroll will be there 
localization is nothing but india localization us localization uk or global payroll what is the difference between global payroll and india payroll global payroll will support for all the countries okay for some of the countries oracle has not provided localization for india also i think uh, one year back oracle has introduced india localization payroll but still clients are using the global payroll only for the indian clients but maybe in next level if or if any client wants to go with the localization then they can go for it time and labor is basically to maintain the employees uh, time sheet information options leaves options management so options management is basically to manage the options information leave leaves leave balances assigning the leaves to the employees employee eligibility this all and this is a talent management talent review performance management goal management success and management and profile management oh, this all comes under this all are simple not much complex and this we call it as a one module that is what we call that is what we call it as talent management so all this comes under the same module then compensation is used to manage the employees uh, compensation like the plans any employees uh, compensation plans are there it comes here compensation options we are going to have it okay so these are about the human capital management orc oracle is going to treat that as a separate uh, package oracle recruitment cloud they treat orc is a different orc is a different something it's not the part of uh, human capital management okay so when we are going to talk about this uh, human capital management we are going to talk about human capital management mainly there are three offerings so what are those three offerings workforce deployment development compensation management development is nothing but manage the employees information manage the employees information like uh, employee development employee goals talent performance success and this all information deployment is nothing but uh, deploy this all components and organization hierarchy so this all we are going to maintain over here this is all we are going to maintain over here and compensation is benefits compensation for the employees when the organization wants to provide some benefits over here okay so these are the hcm family models which we have there are two types of uh, jobs when we talk about human capital management one is functional consultant another one is a technical consultant our training is uh, completely functional consultant we are going to have complete end to end implementation support uh, functional consultant we are going to discuss we are going to learn four module complete end to end global hr payroll options management talent management going forward when you are applying as a senior consultant maybe having 7 years experience or 8 years or solution architect senior level uh, then you need to learn other modules also if you go for learning all modules generally it takes uh, at least 6 months time at least 6 months time and in fact we cannot learn all those uh, uh, modules uh, over here it is right so most of the requirements where we are going to get it is we are going to get most of the requirement in our uh, four modules that's only we have included in our trainings what are those global hr payroll options management talent management this all completely will come so if we learn the four modules what left we have time and labor and then we have benefits then we have compensation in compensation also we will get some individual compensation that is integrated with the payroll so that we are going to have anyway okay so that that's uh, automatically salary basis salaries and uh, uh, employee salary calculations that we are we are going to learn anyway okay so here uh, the four modules which is time and labor actually it's uh, required only for the people uh, very few requirements will find in the market about the time and labor so that's a separate module 
and benefits and compensation in US, it's famous. Uh, most of the clients will implement in US, not other countries. That, yeah. So when we are applying for a jobs in India, then we need at least four modules here. Then we are going to learn. Okay. As I said, there will be two jobs. One is functional consultant, another one is uh, technical consultant. So in this, uh, mainly we are going to have Functional means we are going to learn end to end. We don't need any coding here. We are going to learn end to end uh, implementation. So over here it is. All these four modules, end to end implementations, we are going to discuss. During this functional, we'll also learn some little bit technical. So when we say functional, 100% we are going to learn. Technical also 30 to 40%. Technically, we will have mainly four areas, data load, data extract, reporting, and personalization. So all these four, each one we are going to take one example. Because why we are learning technical is, when you go for an interview and say that you are a functional consultant last four years or five years, we are going to project ourselves and working with cloud vision at CM last five years. Then they, they'll ask you, tell me which modules you are flexible, which modules you implemented. So I'm flexible with four modules, global HR, payroll options and talent, implementation, customization, support in all these areas. I did four projects. I involved end-to-end -end complete process. I was a part of the team. I was the team member as a functional. Then they are going to ask us, do you have any idea about technical? We cannot say that I'm not uh, having any idea about technical. We have to say that, yes, I know technical because I worked with the technical guys. I have prepared the documents uh, for data migration or data extraction. I gathered the requirement from the clients, business users, and those documents I have given to my technical team. They started building this uh, components and then finally they delivered it. And we have given this test cases to our clients and it's got signed up, right? So like that, uh, we should have some basic idea. They'll ask you without knowing how, how to work with the BI reports, how you have gathered the requirement, how you can say that this is possible and this is not possible. That is very important because we are the main uh, consultants who are interacting with the client and gather the requirement. During the requirement gathering, we are going to prepare OEM methodology documents, Oracle Unified methodology documents. In that, we have to clearly mention this feasibility is available and this option is available. This option is not available. We have to customize. This option is not there. We have to develop it. And if it is possible. This is not possible. Like all these considerations, nothing but we call it as a questionnaire. When we are having the questionnaire with the clients in requirement gathering, we have to give the commitment. Okay. So if they ask us, I wanted this, this data extraction. So if you say extract is okay, fine. So you can use HCM extract and you can simply drag and drop and pull the data. If not possible, write a query, select query, BI report and pull the data. So in both the ways we can do, but in a HCM extract, it can be completed within hours. In BI query means it may take some days, two days or three days or one week. It just depends on the complexity of your component, right? So before you give the commitment to your client, you must have some basic idea. That's why they will expect some basic knowledge on the technical side. So in our training, we are going to have 100% it is functional course, human capital management with four modules end-to-end -end implementation, having technical knowledge on four areas, reporting, personalization, data load, data extraction. For all these four areas, one example we are going to have, we'll be discussing that example practically here. So we are going to have only one example for fast formulas here, and that is a part of that. Okay, so this is about the jobs which we have in our uh, demo, what we have discussed uh, so far. So what I have covered here so far is, what is cloud? What are different cloud companies we have? What is Oracle Cloud? What are different products we have in Oracle Cloud? Fusion ERP, different offerings which are there, and what is human capital management, different HCM modules which we have, different jobs which we have. That's, that's what we have discussed.
cloud, different cloud companies, what is Oracle cloud, different cloud products available, Oracle servers. And what is Fusion Applications? It's a cloud-based ERP, different uh, offerings we have, finance, HCM, like that. And uh, HR data. So why we require human capital to maintain the employees' uh, salaries and different models in human capital management. We have discussed different types of jobs here. Okay. So this is about uh, the just introduction about the basic things, very basic about this here. Yes. Any doubts here, we will discuss now. <clears throat> 